Since pigeonhole does not display a drop list if only one result is returned from a SQL query, this gives us many opportunities to have clever control of our data cards. SolidWorks gives us the format of a file's hyperlink as this. Notice that this hyperlink requires four different parameters. One is the project ID, the actual directory that the file is in, the ID of the actual file itself, the type telling me what kind of hyperlink do I want this to be. Do I want it to be an open, a lock, or a simple view? And lastly, the, va the vault name. Now, Enterprise does give me the ability to have special type of variables, and I can call those EPDM folder ID and EPDM file ID. So substituting the, that information in can give me a SQL query such as this, where type is, the, is going to be from a drop list, and the pigeonhole, which is the name of my vault, that is a constant. To make this work, I've set up a data card that asks the user for the hyperlink type. Here's my choices here. I've created an edit box for pigeonhole to populate, and I created an add-in button to connect to coop number 26. Next, I build a coop, connect to coop number 26, put in the information here, the comment that I wish, and take that hyperlink that you just saw earlier and paste it in. Now it is important that I do have server information populated here because SQL is going to do the actual building of the string itself, but at a minimum I only need read-only access to the database. So to show you what it looks like, click on the file, I can choose the type, click hyperlink, and this builds up the hyperlink appropriately.